four or five years ago I salvaged a uh, rack that was made out of eight foot long legs made out of this this kind of tubing I think it's three by three uh, 16 gauge possibly steel but anyway I've used it for various things to make projects uh, or, or to make projects like well, where I mounted the toggle switches, for example, for the backup cameras in my 2007 Road Track Versatile. Um, problem I had now is I'm replacing the portal windows and uh, with a thicker material. And I have to space out the little catches, little twist catches, with a couple washers. Well, it's only held in place with a square head stainless steel screw about three quarters of an inch long or half an inch long. And one side is stripped out. So that led me to think, okay, what can I do to replace it? In the past, nobody's ever done this before. If you have a hole that's stripped out, like for a, a thread, a lot of times you can take a golf tee and cut it off and wedge it inside. Like, uh, say, if you have a hinge for a cabinet door and the hinge screw or the screw hole is, is stripped out, you can usually insert this with some other glue, possibly a toothpick, and then resync your screws into it. I decided to try. First, a couple of these anchors, or an anchor, this is for a number four, number six screw, but it, uh, the, um, the window trim is actually made out of, this isn't, this is for my, my trailer, but this is the edge trim, and on the, um, road track, it's half again this size, I think, uh, especially the thickness, and, um, and so the window, the glass is on the other side, and it's wedged in, I'm not about to just, uh, take that apart. But this flexible tubing, in order to be flex, if you were to remove this rubber or plastic covering, it is a, a serrated. I mean, it's a series of like staples, if you will, like a U-shaped staple all messed together to give you that flex. And so you can drill through this, sort of. It's like a stainless material. A little difficult to do, but once it's gone or once that little piece is gone, like in this motorhome, it's gone. So what I decided to do was to cut a piece of leftover uh, that I had of this in my bin. And if you'll see, if you'll notice, it's got a little bit of a, a lip on it from where I had cut it out previously on here. So I cut out this chunk right here where you see this L out of here. And then I just shaped it a little bit. And you're going to see what I did with this in a second when I walk to the motorhome. I wedged it behind the trim. And you'll see it here in a second. You'll see it up in here, if you'll see this piece right here. This is the hole that is uh, stripped out right here. And so I took this little piece and, and made it about uh, not quite three-eighths of an inch wide for this length. And then I wedged it in between here, and then I'm going to drill a pilot hole through, through this trim in order to anchor the stainless steel screw. And this should work indefinitely. I could always shift this up, or I could have cut this shorter, only made it like uh, three quarters of an inch long or something. But I wanted a little bit more integrity behind here. So you have to be careful so that you don't... And this, again, is thin steel. It's, 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 uh, it's, I don't think it's aluminum, but it's steel, a thin gauge. But you have to be careful you don't have sharp edges so you don't tear your material here. So stay tuned. I'm going to see what it looks like because this cover, if you will more than overlaps this, so you're never going to see this device in here anyway. But if you can't come up with a quick fix for this, this is what I did, and hopefully that'll work for somebody else.